Hello, TT Workshop here. Today, let's talk about batteries for stylus pen. And stylus pens are getting a lot more popular these days with the Microsoft Surface Line, HP, Issues, Lenovo. They all have their own version of the stylus pen. They are very convenient for taking notes and drawings. However, I'm pretty sure you have also experienced the same thing as me, where you were about to replace the battery of your pen and you were utterly shocked by the low availability and the high price tag of these tiny quadruple A batteries. So today, let's turn this readily available 9 volt battery to six of those quadruple A batteries that you can use for years and maybe share two or three with your best friend. And the best thing is, you don't really need any fancy tool. All you need is a pair of pliers. All you need to do is carefully peel off the wrapper of the battery. I believe needle nose might be slightly easier, but we will get by with this. And now you can see it. A 9 volt battery, in most cases, is just six of these LR61 or quadruple A batteries connected in series. Okay. Now you can see they are connected by spot welding, and we just need to use the pliers to remove all these tabs and separate them up. Okay, of course, I will go beyond that and show you some more tricks about this method. So now we have our harvested quadruple A battery, and there's one tiny issue here. If you see close enough, there's a tiny height difference between the two batteries. And the reason is the harvested LR61s, they don't have any positive terminal on top of it. And that's to make the spot welding easier. So as a result, in some of the stylus pens, you might have issue with the connection. And if that's your case, you have to use something to make up for the height difference. And here I will demonstrate two different methods. The first one is very easy and you should have the material readily available at your house. So it's just a tiny piece of aluminum foil. We all know it's conductive. So all you need to do is just make a little pad. So flatten the foil. And now we have a artificial positive terminal. Put in the battery slot carefully install the battery. And the second method would require soldering. But to me, that's my preferred method since it really makes everything just much easier to deal with. And you can give those modified batteries to your friends and buddies and they will be super impressed by you. In order to solder a positive terminal on the battery, you do need to make it somewhat not flat. Otherwise, solder will not stick to the surface. So you can do that with a tiny file or just a craft knife and just slightly scratch up the surface. And do note that the big flat end is positive on these batteries. And of course you should do this at a very well ventilated area. But for the sake of the video, I'll take the hit. So you cannot really preheat the battery too much, otherwise you'll damage it in the tape. And that's it. It might be ugly, but it surely works. Okay. Battery in. Lock. White light is on. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.